Your Excellency, the Chairperson of the Council of Governors and the Governor of Kirinyaga County, Honorable Ann Waiguru, Excellencies, the Governors, Honorable Susan Kihika, Honorable Gladys Wanga, Honorable Cecil Mbarire, Honorable Fatuma Achani, Honorable Kawera Mwangaza, Honorable Wavinya Ndeti. Fellow Cabinet Secretaries present, PSS present, members of the Diplomatic Corps present, UN Women Representative in Kenya, Ms. Ann Mutavati, members of the National Assembly and uh, Senate present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. What a morning. I am truly delighted to be part of this historical launch of the G7 Women's Caucus Strategy on the eve of the 2024 International Women's Day, whose theme, Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress, is so relevant for today's launch. I want, in a special way, to congratulate you, my sisters, for this noble initiative. You are true trailblazers. Your resilience, passion, focus, and tireless efforts has been inspiring to watch. Your Excellency, Mr. President, sir, I applaud your efforts and commitment towards the inclusion of women in leadership, representation, and decision-making spaces in Kenya. Through your leadership, today, Kenya has the highest number of women governors since the promulgation of the 2010 Constitution. And out of the seven governors, four are from the political party where you serve as the leader. And you are now, you are now supporting all without boundaries. This would not have been possible without your unwavering support, Your Excellency. Beyond supporting the women governors to be elected, just last week in Homer Bay County, at the investment conference, you affirmed women governors' leadership as being transformative. And as your cabinet secretary for gender affairs, I can confirm your commitment to advancing women leadership in Kenya, which inspires hope that under your leadership, Kenya will actually surpass the G7 caucus aspirations of moving from, 16, from 7 to 16 women governor in the next election cycle. <laughs> Further, you have led from the front on the implementation of the not more than two-third gender principle. First, through your memo to parliament, and the second, by ensuring the implementation of the not more than two-third gender principle was an integral part of the National Dialogue Committee process. Your Excellency, sir, within the Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts, and Heritage, I continue to spearhead robust policies and legal frameworks and strategies and strategic initiatives to ensure the gender agenda is at the core of the implementation of the bottom-up transformation agenda, popularly known as BETA. Through a multi-agency approach, we are making good progress towards the implementation of Women Charter, which you committed to. And tomorrow, during the International Women's Day event in Embu, we will share this progress. As we launch the G7 caucus today, I wish to confirm to you, my sisters, that the aspirations and the objectives of the caucus align with those of the Ministry of Gender, 
and I stand ready to support you. I am hopeful that working together as a team at the national and the county levels, the promise of gender equality is now within the reach. In conclusion, one thing is clear. Investing in women and girls leads to sustainable development and create a future where all women and girls around the world are allowed to rise and reach their full potential. I am a living testimony of what it means to invest in women and girls. From, from the sand-swept fishing village of Takaungu to the world. My clarion call is let us work together for more inclusive, brighter, peaceful, and prosperous future for us all. Once again, congratulations, my sisters, on the launch of this caucus, and count me in. Asante ni sana mungu wa